In this video series, I'm going to go over the CompTIA A+, 220, 1001, and 220, 1002 exams. You must pass both of these exams in order to receive your certification. This exam is an entry-level exam that's good for IT service technicians or people looking to get started in the industry. It must be renewed every three years. You can retake the exam, acquire continuing education units, or pass higher level exams. There are no prerequisites. Anybody can take this exam, however, experience is recommended. It is non-vendor specific, so there are no questions specific to HP, Apple, Dell, etc. Taking the exam, you can take, uh, schedule the exam online through Prometric. These are just some of the skills that you should possess before taking the exam. How to assemble components based on customer requirements. Install, configure, and maintain PCs, mobile devices, and software for end users. Understand the basics of networking and security forensics. Properly and safely diagnose, resolve, and document common hardware and software issues. Apply troubleshooting skills. Provide appropriate customer support. Understand the basics of scripting, virtualization, desktop imaging, and deployment. The 220-1001 exam has a maximum of 90 questions. It is multiple choice and performance-based questions. The performance-based questions are going to be simulations in virtual environments that have limited functionality. You have 90 minutes to take this exam, and the passing score of 675 is required on a scale of 100 to 900. These are the objectives or domains for the CompTIA A plus 220-1001 exam. First is mobile devices, which makes up 14% of the exam. It covers laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Networking is 20%. That will be wireless and wired LAN technology and components. Hardware is 27%. Those will be made up of memory, CPU, hard drive, screens, keyboards, etc. Virtualization and cloud computing is 12%. That will be virtual servers, data and applications, and other resources that are hosted remotely off-site. Hardware and network troubleshooting is 27%. And we'll go over the six-step troubleshooting methodology for that domain. Some helpful tips. Watch the video multiple times if needed. Pause the video and take notes and use multiple resources so you can pass the exam. Thank you for watching. If you felt like this video was helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.